Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to QHE channel. In this series of videos, Alhamdulillah, we are learning about Arabic nouns. Those are related to actions. Today, inshallah, we are going to learn about one of the derived nouns. Derived nouns are those nouns that are derived from Nasdar. And we covered Nasdar in the last session. So we are going to cover today active participle. That is one of the derived nouns. So let's begin, inshallah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inshallah, today we are going to cover a few things. We are going to look into the names of the types of derived nouns. Derived nouns are called mushtaq. We are going to look into all the conjugations of active participle. Ismul fa'il. And we are going to identify active participle in Quran. So let's go over the names of the derived nouns. So this is the list of the derived nouns. We have six derived nouns over here. And again, these are derived from Nasdaq. And also all of these nouns are related to actions. And our topic today, the active participle is smooth let's begin learning about active participle let's first take a look at the basic conjugation of active participle okay so active participle we are showing the basic conjugation using three root letters i'm lam so this is the basic conjugation or pattern or active participle. Fa'il. The first root letter will always carry fatha followed by letter alif attached to it. Okay, so the first root letter always carry fatha and it will have an alif attached to it. Second root letter will always carry kaswa and the third root letter can carry any vowel and it can also, there can be also various types of suffixes that can be conjugated to it based on the state, gender, and number. Okay, so this is the basic conjugation of active participle. Fari. Okay, now let's look into some other information about active participle. So what is an active participle? Active participle in general is referred as a doer. And who is a doer? A person or a being who performs an action that is described by the root letters. Okay, so the meaning of active participle depends on the meaning of the root letters. Because the action is described by the root letters, that is what correlated to the doer. Now let's look at, uh, let's take a look into some examples of the simplest pattern which corresponds to singular male along with the dictionary. So let's take a look of some example of singular male, the conjugation of singular male active participles. Okay, so in this chart, I have root letters, base meanings from the dictionary of these root letters. And we also have active participles for singular male doers at the state of Rafa. Okay. And we also have the meanings of the active participle. So for root letters noon, sod, raw, the base meaning is to help. And the conjugation for singular male at the state of Rafa is now surum. Okay, using these three root letters. And we learned from the master's uh, session that the default ending of the state uh, any word at the state of Rafa, any uh, noun at the state of Rafa is Dhamma. Okay. Now, this one, this particular root letter, set of root letters give the base meaning to help. Okay. Then obviously the meaning will be because what is active participle? A doer. What is the doing here? What's the action here? Helping, right? So how I'm going to translate? I'm going to translate a male helper. Okay. 
Next set of root letters, kaf, da, ba, base meaning to write. The active participle for singular male doer, kathibun. And the meaning will be a male writer. Ain, lam, min, base meaning to know. Active participle for singular male doer would be alimun. So the meaning will be a learned man. You can say a man who knows. You can say that too. Okay, now let's take a look into dictionary. Okay. So I have already entered no saw the raw in the dictionary. So no saw the raw gives this pattern for the verb. Nasoro yang suru. I mentioned before that whenever we enter three root letters, the first paragraph that starts along with the root letters, this that paragraph is related to verbs. Any paragraphs after the first paragraphs are related to various kind of nouns. Okay, so for these root letters, what's the base meaning? The base meaning to help. So you can formulate the active participle. You can say a helper. Or you can also find the active participle directly in the dictionary. For example, you can see over here, now sir. Okay, now sir means helper. When you see root, I um, mean, sorry, the active participle, sometimes you will see the other plural conjugations also. So at this time, we'll take the singular meaning helper. Usually in the dictionary, it gives the singular male active participle. Okay, now let's go ahead and enter another set of root letters. So let's try ein, ein, nam, nim. Okay, so when we have ein, nam, nim, so let's try to look for it. So we have over here, so this is type C, base meaning to know. So you can formulate a, a man who knows or a learned man, but let's try to find directly the word let's try to find that. So you kind of have to skip few paragraphs. Sometimes it comes kind of at the end. Okay, so we you can see Arlim. Arlim, the this is active participle. It means knowing or learning. This is what we picked in our chart. So now I think it's clear that how you can find active participle in the dictionary. Now going back to our document, inshallah. Now let's look into all the other conjugations of active participle, inshallah. So this is the chart that has all the conjugations of active participle. Okay. For the nouns, the way the conjugations vary based on the three states, default, nasub, jar, also based on gender, masculine versus feminine, also based on singular, dual, plural, okay? So I have these three blue columns that, are, that carry all the masculine um, conjugations and this pink column, they're carrying all the feminine conjugations, okay? So let's go over. So first we are gonna go over the default state, Rafa. Okay, so for the singular male doer, we already saw the conjugation in the previous chart. For the singular male doer, the conjugation is fa'ilun. I'm going to read as a continuing basis, okay? Fa'ilun. Okay, so what's the base uh, conjugation we like? Fa'il. So fa'il is there, and the ending will be dhammati. I'm also showing with definite particle um, and as we know, when you have definite particle at the beginning of a noun, then there won't be any tanmin. There won't be any double vowels. The double vowels and definite uh, uh, particle, they don't coexist. So, fa'ilun will be al-fa'il. 
So this is singular at the default state. Now for the dual fa'ilani. So you have the basic structure, basic pattern fa'il and a suffix an is conjugated. So whenever we will see this pattern, we know this is dual male, dual. Okay. For the plural, fa'iluna, basic pattern and una is conjugated. Fa'iluna, many male doers or more than two main doers. Now let's look into the feminine. Fa'ilatun, fa'il at, at the beginning, basic structure, basic pattern. Tamabuta, tamabuta with dhammatin is at the end. That is feminine, Fa, one fem, female doer. Fa'ilatani, okay? Tani at the end tells you this is two female doers. Fa'ilatun, atun tells you these are many female doers. Okay? Fa'ilun, fa'ilani, fa'iluna. Fa'ilatun, fa'ilatani, fa'ilatun. Okay? Now let's look into nasab state. Nasab, what's the default ending for a singular noun at the state of nasab? Fatha, right? We learned that in the, from the uh, master session. So for singular male doer, the conjugation would be fa'ilan. Dual, fa'ilaini. Plural, fa'ilina. So for the dual, aini is added. For the plural, ina is conjugated. Okay? For the female singular, fa'ilatan. For the female dual, fa'ilataini. Taini is at, conjugated at the end. For the female plural, fa'ilatin. Atin is conjugated at the end. Okay? So for the nasab, fa'ilan, fa'ilaini, fa'ilina, fa'ilatan, fa'ilataini, fa'ilatin. Okay. For the job, state of job. What's the default ending for job state? State of job? Kasra, right? So for the single male doer, it will be fa'ilin. Dual, fa'ilaini. Plural, fa'ilina. What do you notice? You notice that for the nasab and jab, for the dual and the plural, the suffixes are exactly same. Over here, you have laini for nasab and for jab, laini also. For nasab plural, for male, lina, also for jab, lina. So how would you know which state a noun will be? It depends on the context. It depends on the governing agent, agent that comes before the noun that makes this change, which we will learn, inshallah, when we will uh, go over nahu, inshallah. Okay? Now, for the female, fa'ilatin, dual female, fa'ilataini, aini, fa'ilatin, for plural. Okay? So, you can see that over here also exactly same suffix for nasab and jal for the dual. Taini, taini. Atin, atin. Okay, so the overall jar is jar state conjugations are fa'ilin, fa'ilaini, fa'ilina, fa'ilatin, fa'ilataini, fa'ilatin. I'm not reading the conjugation using the definite particle. I think it's very obvious to you. Now let's look into some examples in Quran. As usual, inshallah, we will browse over the verse and we will try to match, look for the basic pattern at the beginning of any word. Okay. So if I browse over here, it's very obvious Arabid matches with Fa'il. So I'm going to pick this one. And let's go over the details, inshallah. So here is the identification. Obviously, this is a male doer. We saw in the chart, Fa'ilun is a male doer. Arabidun, 
a mail door state is default root letters are ayn badal base meaning to worship final meaning a worshiper okay let's go over the next verse and let's browse inshallah we are looking for fa'il at the beginning of a word that kind of pattern now this word, whenever you see lam fatha at the beginning of any verb or any noun, it should tell you this is actually a particle. This is an emphatic particle. So, but excluding the emphatic particle, we are going to look into the word. The word itself, what does it match with? If you look at the beginning portion of the word, sahir fa'il, right? It's a match. Now let's look at the whole thing with the suffix. Sahirani. What does it match with? It matches with it. Male dual for a male dual doers, right? Two male doers at default state. Okay, so let's pick this word, inshallah. Okay, now let's look into the details. Okay. So two male doers, right? So these are active participle, two male doers. It's default state. Root letters seen ra. Base meanings to be witch or like performing a magic. What will be the final meaning? Two magicians. If I include the lamb fatha, it will be like certainly or verily two magicians. It's an emphatic particle. Now let's go over a few more verses. Next verse I have already highlighted the active participle. Just go over them. Let's, let's go over them very quickly. These ones you can tell why these are highlighted. Like for example, al abiduna, right? It matches with fa'iluna. al abiduna, al hamiduna, al raqiuna, al sajiduna, al hafiruna. Okay. You might be wondering why I did not pick these words at the Ibuna or Asaibuna. Actually, because they have Hamza, these are like irregular words. We are not learning irregular words at this point. So we are not going to analyze them at this point. So let's go over the, uh, over the identification of these words very quickly, inshallah. So for Alhamiduna, male doers, right? Plural. And it's a default state because we're not saying, we're not saying like aini, lina, those kind of conjugate uh, suffix. We see una. So that's default state for plural male. Root letters, ha, mean, dal, base meaning to praise, final meaning the ones who praise. Okay, plural. Aroki una, again, male doers, plural. This is default state. Root letters ra, kaf, ain. Base meaning to bend the body. Final meaning the ones who bend the bodies. This is referring to ruku that we perform during salah. Let's go over the other ones, inshallah. So we have asajiduna, again, male doers. Default state, root letters, seen, jim, dal. Base meaning to prostrate. Final meaning the ones who prostrate. Next one, al hafiruna, male doers. Default state, root letters, ha, fa, wa. Base meaning to preserve. Final meaning the ones who preserve. I have two more verses. Let's go over, inshallah. Okay. So over here, we have فَسَابِقَوْتِ Okay. So if I just stop here, أَسَّابِقْ الْفَاعِلْ Match, right? Now, آتِ, where did we see? We saw آتِ as plural female for the state of nasl and jaw. Okay, so let's go over the uh, details. So this is plural female, female doers. State can be nafsum or jaw. It depends on the 
the particle or any word before it, we are not going to cover at this point. We'll just conclude this can be nasab or job stage. Root letters, seen, ba, of. Base meaning to be ahead of someone. Final meaning would be the ones who are ahead. Okay, let's go over the next one, inshallah. So the next one we have Sadiqina. So Sadiq, Fa'il, match, initial match, and suffix is Ina. Where do we see Ina? We see for male doers. Okay, for a state of Nasab and Jab. Both the states have the same conjugations. So the details will be these are male doers. State can be Nasab or Jab. Root letters, Sad, Dal, of base meaning to speak the truth or be sincere final meaning the ones who speak the truth okay hopefully active participle is very clear to you please go over the video pause and take a quick look at the conjugations inshallah let's see what's coming up in the next session in the next session, inshallah, we are going to look into conjugations of passive participle, ismul maf'ul. Ismul maf'ul are those nouns, in general, we can say objects on which the action is performed. Okay, and inshallah, we are going to look into Quran also. Until then, keep us in your dua. May Allah grant baraka on all your efforts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.